Medet ya Sultanul Enbiya, medet ya Sultanul Evliya, ya Rıcab Allah. We ask for permission of our Grand Sheikh so that we shall get something that we are in need of. They are the saints. the friends of God and the spiritual authorities and they're always ready to give us something just like the water in the faucet but we need to open ourselves up to that water coming from the faucet just as the faucet is turning. Otherwise, nothing's going to come out of it. They are standing and are at the ready for us, the saints, the heavenly messengers of God and the helpers of God. They are always ready for us to contact them. But we have to show good manners, correct manners, and have consciousness, and also have to ask for the help and don't be vain or proud to to do so. Yes, Sheikh. We always call them, and still they don't help us. Truly, are you sure? Where do you want to know how the saints are actually helping us and how they are supporting us? Allah says in the Holy Quran, how do you want to know what that you have no idea about? As you are so ignorant. You have no knowledge about nothing and still you claim to know something. You've got no wisdom and that's why we say, we tell you, Allah doesn't listen to us when we call for Him. Or the saints don't listen to us when we call for them. But they are always there. If someone is calling for them, who is here? He is there. And we, if you ask Moses, he will be there. If you say, Oh, Yaqub, he's going to be Abraham, Prophet Abraham, Ibrahim, they always they always have to be here. Because for this kind of work, they had been created and sent. Not only for their time they were in, but constantly they are at the ready with their sainthood and permanently they are there and never vanished and for the eyes it may be they were gone but not truly with their souls and always there and they never left us alone. If you call for them they will come. But we don't know how they will actually support us and help us, as we are so impatient. If you got a headache, my brother, immediately you want to take down the pill and you, you think the headaches are gone immediately. But it doesn't work like that. You have to wait a little bit. If it if works like that with medicine and there's a, a procedure, a progress of healing, and it has to happen that way, we have to be patient with or until we have understood that they actually helped us. Patience is also a progress happening in, in time. In, in patience there is it, there is a duration of time hidden inside. And Allah is with the patient when, when He says that. So you have to be patient and wait your time. 
And it's not on you to decide what time it's going to work, or what the end of that time it's going to be, that period of time. It's going to, he is going to decide it. Oh, my brother, you can't say, oh, it's going to happen now. No. Oh, and then he doesn't listen to me. They don't listen to us. Oh, they hear you, but they are also waiting for their orders. They sh have to help us, they shall help us, but when and how, it's also giving them direct from up above. Even the saints have to wait with the help, but they are actually helping you and are ready to help you. Once Grand Sheikh Maulana Sheikh Nazan, he told me, come my son, come and go again. At the day, on the same day, Come, 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 and then you can live again, he said. Give me your report, and, and I live across of him on the island of Cyprus, his island. Only a few hours away from my hometown, and I came here in, during, during summertime, during weather, because of the weather. Um, even if it's winter, during winter it's nice, and, and during the day it's nice. And so, and I thought I would return back before evening, so I went with the T-shirt on, and then it turned evening, and it turned night, and it turned into morning prayer, and turned for 40 days, and I almost froze to death at night, because it's really, really cold and in the winter time on Cyprus. And I couldn't take a shower, but I had to walk 30 minutes to the beach and with my clothes I have to take a wash and and even uh, soaped, I put on soap and, and cleaned myself and I got sick. And the sheikh doesn't say anything. Oh, you are still here, he says. And nothing else and con goes about his day. And that goes on for 40 days. And then... For breakfast, I attended, and he called out for me, and he looked at me and said, Oh, you're still here? Oh, well, yes. You, you wanted to tell me something. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, you wanted to report to me. Are those 40 days already over, complete? And then I was, and I was smiling. And right now, today, this is the 40th day. My, my chef. Oh, ah, yes, he said. Eshet Afendi is one with good manners. If I tell him, come, he comes. And whenever I tell him to go, he, he will leave. And he will stay and doesn't say a single word. He is patient and stays. He's got good manners. If I tell him, come, and whenever I tell him to go, he will go. And now 40 days are gone of his retreat, his halvid is complete. And then he said, oh, also looking up above, that I give, get my order to give you permission to leave. For, for my own personality, I can't tell you to do and decide. And now they just told me, let, let him go. He's free to go. So now you're free to go. Well, what about my report? You don't need to. You can go now. As time, I was really angry at him, and I, I'm sorry. For 40 days, I didn't have anything with me, no bags, because I wanted to come and then leave again on the same day. And they've got their wisdom, but we don't. And we don't know what they put into our pockets to get Later on, we're going to find out what it was, what they actually slipped into our bags and our pockets. We don't know into the pockets. What I mean is the heart. It's for later, not now. And that is why. O oh Moses, alayhi salam, Jesus, alayhi salam, O oh Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. Help us. Oh, you saints, help us. If we say that, they are actually here. They are actually helping you. But, but just like that pill, 
or that headache, that pill you take for your headache, it takes some time. You have to digest it first, but it still takes some time to actually show its effects. And we can't decide how time is working, and that's the problem right there. Our impatience. And we start getting angry and irritated. Oh, nobody's listening to me. I mean, nobody is giving, um, listening to me. Where is that help? And so on and so on. As the human being is impatient. And we are living in a, an era that is very fast. And you're getting even more impatient. The more chances you have, you want to have it even faster. The more you opportunities you get, you, you, you want to have more and more, even so. But your breath doesn't actually follow along, and then suddenly you're stuck. And that's the problem. And the saints are giving us the recommendation, live humble and simple. Live humble and simple, and don't ask for more. Because you're going to suffocate on it. Fast, 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 fast. Sure, sure. Everything, everything. <laughs> you're going to suffocate on it. The soul... So your spiritual power doesn't last long enough to, to take it all, to bear it all. We are not there yet. Only a true spiritual human being can carry it all at the same time. But us, we are not one of them. And that's why so many rich people are actually committing suicide because of that. Because they got everything and they actually suffocated underneath all that everything. Too much it was. And it got too heavy. Just like a block full of batten, uh, um, cement, weighing you down. Ask for a simple life and an easy life. If you're living simple, it's going to be easy. And they're going to be, it's going to be easy going. The more you want, the heavier it's going to get to for you. And Allah, as a Allah, got us to come together uh, while we are doing zikr meditation I heard from my grand sheikh what a beautiful de picture even if it's just a handful of people tending if only we are doing meditation three times in a week but, but for seven days in the week we are together and because, because we are together in the name of Allah, every second, every minute is zikr meditation. It's part of it, and it's part of prayer. Because it's not easy. Even it's in the name of God to be together non-stop and working together and always in the service of God for your ego, for no ego, it's any easier. It's part of a prayer. You don't know what will be given to us. We don't see it. We don't know it. With our own eyes, we only see, but not with their, with their eyes. We think we only get angry and there's no blessing, but only evil for us. But it's not true. Do you really think that Allah is such a miser how many billion of people are in this in this world and how many are there of us not even a handful of us is attending and Allah still do you think is being miserly with us for such a handful of people that try to live in his name and come together in this life and to serve in his name. And do you think Allah is going to be miserly with us? His oceans of mercy and provision, he opened up them to us. But it will, it will re that will reveal itself to us when the heavy when the real heavy times are coming when everybody under that that heavy heavy time of war of the great war and darkness 
they are going to be crushed underneath it. And we are, he says, as I heard while I was doing zigger meditation, just like the small flowers um, that are coming through during um, snow time. Like, like, how do they look like? Like very small, like a very small flower petals in white. And they are working their way up through the snow. In the during winter time, those small flowers got their own spring happening. And for those kind of flowers, it's spring. While there is this very harsh winter time still, and they are working at them their ways up. Even though they they are so fine and thin, how do they even do that? From very down there to go up, 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 up through there, such very fine flowers and petite flowers, or are they, or are they hard leather walnut? Like with the petals, how does it be that without getting broken and getting um, broken, that they actually pop the head out of the snow and even how beautiful it looks like, and it's still winter time. And I heard it all that while doing the commentation with that, how Shay Fendi was uh, telling me, and he says, that's how you look. Oh, alhamdulillah, thanks to God, when, what blessing, where everybody is looking for enjoyment. Or uh, Still occupying themselves with useless things. We here try at least three times a week after one another to do zikr meditation, but for whom do we do it? This is a, a way to depot, to deposit your own energy, your, your collecting energy and, and strength. And the result of it is later on, we'll see how strong we actually are when everybody else is getting weak, where everybody else is being crushed down like a flat flounder. And, and with that kind of ammunition we have here with Zika meditation, we're going to come up strong. But that's actually the training we are now holding, where everybody else is out amusing themselves and doing stupid stuff. We are coming together. Allah, Allah. Even if we fell asleep and you are still there and still here and that's the blessing you get, you're part of it. And no matter if you don't show up yourself and are hiding in your own room and locked yourself in, you are still there, you are inside the house. Who else is here as well? He told me the whole right and left behind and in front, all of neighborhood is underneath that umbrella of God. Because we are here, that's why. Our, they don't know that, they don't know what, they, what good they have in us. And later on they will find out. They think we are a curse to them, but actually we are a blessing for them. And they will find out later. If we are reading one ayat of Kursi thrown first from the Quran, it goes, spread the blessing to seven houses left, right, and into all directions. That protection, that layer of protection is spreading that fast. Didn't you know? Didn't they tell you that in university, my brother? And inshallah, as Allah wills it, we will get blessing and be blessing to all of us. May our spiritual light and power and strength for all of us that are around us and be enough. Or even for the whole country or even the whole continent. We can wish to receive without vanity. Ask Allah tells it. Maulana Sheikh Nazim Effendi told me, I'm an ant, I'm, I'm weaker than an ant. But my intention is to be bigger than a dinosaur. I want to bring the whole world to become believers. That's my intention. Even if my body is so nimble and weak and even weaker than an ant, that's my intention.
and for that for the end of Abraham, of the time of Abraham, as it was carrying a piece of water into its um, tweezers and went on its way. And the end was very, very small steps. And, and Gabriel, alayhi salam, in, at the order of God, uh, of God comes to him, Why, what are you doing, little ant, you small one? There's the fire, it says. And I want to vanquish that fire with what? With that drop of water I've got between my tweezers. With that water, you, that Mount Everest of a fire, you want to kill that? It's my intention, yes, even if I may die. And that is in the Quran. And at least, like us, the most honored creature in all of creation, it would be such a shame not to have such an intention. A very small, tiny ant has got that big intention and wants to do something, serve something for Allah and for the belief and for the truth. And us, we don't have any similar equivalent to that kind of intention. We should be ashamed of ourselves as believers. And these are all metaphors and ways to understand, to start thinking how to actually put ourselves into and understand it. And, and may Allah give us the right attitude and give success to us with such an intention to serve Allah as a veteran, and to get rid of all the non-belief in this world, not with flesh and, and weapons and ammunition. We don't even have such a wind, but with the greatest weapon we're ever going to have that's been given to us from Allah as a veteran. These are our prayers, and the prayer is the strongest weapon there is for a believer, the Lord says. And may he... May he give us and armor us with that kind of strong weapon. Allahu, 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 Allah, Allahu, Allahu, Allahu. Allah, Allahu, 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 Allah, Allahu, 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 Allah, Allahu, Allah. Allahu Allah Allahu 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 Allah Allahu Allahu Allah Allah Sultan Fatiha. Oh, you people, don't do that, make that mistake to decide on your own what to have, what to make of the time. Don't say, my patient is at it ends. Don't say that. Don't curse yourself as you're putting a curse on yourself for sure. Don't say, my patience is at its end, which don't ever say that. So why not, my brother?
because you say and actually do you chase away the Lord himself Astaghfirullah why? in that moment when you say that my patience is at its end my brother you say God go away leave me and go away from me why? why? Because he decides what the end is going to be. Because Allah is only with the good, with the patient ones. He says, Allah is only with the patient ones. He never says he's with the impatient. But as soon as you feel impatient, he is gone. And it's such an opening for us that they make me say to you, or it's a, a tip that it's an all-inclusive, everything is included, hint. And in that moment when you say, my patience is at its end, you, you, cho you chase Allah away from you and tell him to f go away from you, Astaghfirullah. And you think you, knew, you know everything? You know everything? We know nothing anything as I'm I'm listening myself and always get more on new information pieces of information and we should start working with it and should be able to work with it at first understand and then be careful that's what we should do first never say enough never say that your ego, you can tell your ego, it's enough now. That is true. That's all you, you have a free hand to do so and permission to do so. Tell your own ego. Now my ego, shut up, ego. And switch off. But never say that to Allah, as I would tell you. Because it's a, written, it's a book written already. It has been predestined already. He's the author. He he wrote everything already. And you can't say that like like this page. I don't want to have experienced that. It's a book. Like like ripping out that page from your book. That's on that page. I don't want to participate in that. Or with those kind of um, roles and characters. I don't even want to be meddling with. No. Every human being has its own book writ already, predestined. So what to do? Try, try to turn your already predestined book to turn it into a bestseller and not to let it be a complete bomb. Are you understanding? Don't be a flop, but turn it into a best-selling book.